Hey, Max. Morning, Max. Hey, Max, say good morning. Everybody's wanting, good morning, Max. Beautiful day out today. But pretty much as it is every day, say good morning. Say good morning to, to YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. YouTube, say good morning to Max. We're just taking our quick morning walk. Hey, I wanted to say welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin, K-E-V-I-N in all caps, youtube.com forward slash at Kevin 24 seven. Please do me a favor, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And I want you guys to make sure you check out the links in the description because I've loaded it with plenty of money-making opportunities, passive income, side hustles, make money online, online social media jobs, as well as ways that you can contact me and get in communication with me, especially if you wanna join the channel memberships, show your support, show your love. We really do appreciate it. And contact and connect me directly on Patreon. I actually put up a video yesterday. Oh man, we're by that damn cicada tree again. That thing is so loud, it's unbelievable. Sorry, my dog decided he wanted to stop here and maybe sniff other dogs' business. Hey, like this one here. <laughs> but either way, we're gonna, Max, come on, leave that dog alone, leave that dog alone. He wants to make friends. I think every dog here wants to be friends with every other dog. But either way, uh, I put up a video yesterday and it was a vlog on another channel. So go check it out if you haven't seen it already. And in that video, I made reference to passive income and the ability of making $2,000 a month off of a very simple and easy investment and using technology. Now, that technology is actually ChatGPT and it literally produced passive income for an investor by just asking it to do so. Amazing what technology can do. Now, we need to go into greater detail on that, but we have far more important topics of discussion and conversation for you today, which include a special warning message to a particular set of people who have been told never to visit a certain place for safety reasons. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but Max is really, really excited and he would love to get an opportunity to uh, run around and play in this uh, sprinkler system here. Uh, even though I don't think he's like a huge fan of being wet, he is definitely curious about these sprinklers. Normally that would probably be okay, but being here in Florida, uh, I don't think I really want to do that. Max, Max, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? The reason being is that the water typically uh is reclaimed which basically means uh yeah they warn you not to ingest or drink the water because it, it it's not a spring source okay apparently we're doing more than just what i thought we were doing this morning max has got to find his spot now all right now i really got to ask michelle what is she feeding this dog because this mound is huge and he dropped one last night. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm glad I was prepared because I brought my little baggie with me. And it's actually got this little dog bone, which actually holds the bag. And I think we got this on Amazon. And if we did, I'll drop a link in the description if you guys want to pick one up. The bags are super cheap. And these are actually way bigger bags than our apartment complex gives us. Apartment complex gives us bags for free, which is really cool but these bags are a lot bigger so for extra wide loads like this one here this is going to come in handy because i don't want to get any of this on my fingers uh oh i think i got a little bit on my fingers my germs Ugh. what's the old saying i love the smell of napalm in the morning <laughs> max come on and here i was thinking that he was super excited about the uh sprinkler system no he was excited for some other reason he had to drop that deuce but either way Hey, there's an area, actually, a serious conversation of concern because there's a historic city, uh, town, in Maui, 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 Hawaii, Maui, or Maui, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but it's in Hawaii, and unfortunately, the folks out there have experienced some severe devastation from these wildfires, and uh, I was actually watching, we were, we were watching, Michelle chose to watch this video yesterday, but either way, we were watching this video and uh but 
she was watching this video. We were watching this video that she chose to watch. And it was Nikki Delventhal. And she was in Oregon. She was going on a hike with her dog, Camper. So kind of like Max and I this morning, going on our morning walk. And now he gets his treat. He's super excited. And ultimately what happened was uh, she was going, she was hiking through an area that experienced wildfire and all the trees were burned and you could see where the burn occurred. So thoughts and prayers to those in Hawaii. I know currently six people died and I think it was like a few hundred uh, that were really, really in harm's way. hospitals are overrun and things just aren't looking good for the folks in Hawaii. When you think Hawaii, you think beautiful vacation paradise, not disastrous wildfire, um, wildfire destruction and panic and uh, state of emergency. That's not really what we think about. But there's also more to this than just that because there's some other things that a lot of folks just don't really think about and i actually came across a video this morning of a young man who ended up riding his harley davidson i believe to sturgis south dakota and he literally titled the video i think something along the lines of black people are not supposed to go to sturgis and ultimately he debunked that myth similar to other myths that my family has debunked over the years, but just as recently as this past summer. And I'll say this, the moral of the story, the key takeaway, especially from reading some of the comments on his videos are, stop letting people dictate and prevent you from anything that you want to do, anything that you want to try, any, any exploration that interests you over a stereotypical rumor that is more than likely 100% false, not true. Get out there, explore. It doesn't matter what color you are, what you look like, where you came from or anything like that. And he went to Sturgis. He was perfectly fine. Now, granted, this is no different than our experience in our trip to Chicago. Whereas we were perfectly fine and everything was okay and we had a great time. That's not to say that wherever you go is going to be you know, sunshine and rainbows. You have to be smart, you have to pay attention, you have to try to be safe, but definitely don't let these things prevent you from uh, having fun and enjoying life and traveling, exploring, learning new things, meeting new people, making memories. All right, Max, sit. Good boy. Good boy. All right, uh-uh, mm -mm. wait. Now we do here. We do hear some dogs in the dis- uh-uh, uh-uh, wait. And he has to behave. Uh-uh, uh-uh, sit. Max, sit. Good boy. He has to behave and learn to control himself. Come on, come on. Let's go. He's such a good boy. Isn't that right, Max? Just hanging out, just chilling. He's ready for that treat and some water. All right, so Max is gonna get the remainder of his Hills prescription diet, digestive care, because he had an upset stomach 
the other day, but everything appears to be fine. So we're gonna mix it in. He's not getting Canadian bacon. Hey kid, good morning. He's not getting Canadian bacon. We're gonna mix it in. You ready for school? With, where's the bag? Oh, it's on the bench. Michelle got some new dog food. You had to order this from Walmart? Yeah. I guess. Well, you got two. For some reason. Uh, what do you want to do with this old food? I'll figure it out in a minute. Uh, so don't mix them? Um, we probably could. All right, I'm not going to mix it. I'm just going to open this one and get him a fresh bowl. All right, Max, you ready to eat? Gotta mix it with the other one. But more than likely, he's gonna try to just eat only. What's in the can. Is this wet dog food? Is this considered wet dog food? Yeah. And eat around the dry. And just fling the dry all over the floor. You should see. Maybe he's really hungry. Changes his mind. Yes, but we have yet another important update, and this is specifically for those folks, particularly or specifically. Just, if you live in the state of Indiana, play, please pay attention because they're cracking down, and this could actually be happening in multiple states across the country. But basically, drivers are being warned of a new crackdown for ignoring a rule that can get you fined $10,000 and see your license suspended for up to a year. And this is according to the U.S. Sun. State troopers are warning drivers to obey the law as they see start to uh, as they see. This is a typo. I didn't do it. They they typed it like that. They see start to see more school buses ahead of the school year. We really need to have some uh, spell check here and some edit editorial work. Indiana police will be cracking down on stop arm violations to ensure students remain safe on their daily commute. Indiana police told local station 21 Alive News that there will be increased patrols ensuring drivers come to a full stop behind school buses. A stop arm violation typically involves illegally passing a stop school bus with red lights flashing. On one given day in April, 2,091 stop, stop arm violations occurred in Indiana. And this is according to a yearly study conducted by the Indiana Department of Education. Law enforcement hopes to see that number go down in the upcoming school year. And it says here, according to Sergeant Brian Walker, and I quote, absolutely imperative you have to stop when you see these buses we really want to make sure people are paying attention in the mornings the low light conditions is what he added obviously you can see those flashing lights on the bus and you know when to stop but you don't always see those kids that are in the driveways or on the corners is what he said now it says that bus traffic tends to peak in the afternoons and morning hours obviously and the officer hopes that the reminder will prevent horrific accidents. We do too. He also said that the last thing we want to do is have a child struck in or near a bus stop. Now, the stop arm violations are a class A infraction in Indiana with fines up to $10,000 and license suspension for up to 90 days for the first offense or up to a year for the second. If the violation causes injury, it becomes a class six felony. And if the violation causes death, it becomes a class five felony. Drivers are encouraged to pay extra attention to the new traffic patterns in the first few weeks of the school year. Now, I know that there's sometimes people are like confused because they see the, the bus and they're not really sure if it's a divided highway or multi-lane highway or different things like that. 
I always err on the side of caution. But either way, folks, I appreciate you guys watching. Please smash that like button. S consider subscribing to the channel. Please drop a comment down below and share this video with anyone you think it would be helpful to, entertaining to, a video that you think that they would enjoy, or if they just want to see Max the Golden Doodle having his morning jaunt around the neighborhood. And if you want more information on how you can create passive income streams, side hustles, make money online, build businesses, increase your income, add substantial amounts of money to your regular pay, increase your earnings, earn more money, stop living paycheck to paycheck, budget better, build YouTube channels, other social media, online opportunities for building wealth, making money, side hustle, just a little bit of pocket change. Maybe you want to go on vacation, take a trip, make some investments, whatever it may be. Make sure you hit me up. Info in the description down below. Until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. See you real soon. Bye. Time to eat.